Hi, Bill Caskey here. In our Q&A session, we are going to talk today about cold calling, everybody's favorite topic. Everybody I know loves to make cold calls. No, they really don't. But a lot of times, that's the only prospecting you have. So if you're not with a company that dumps leads galore on your desk every morning or once a week, and there are companies out there that do that, but if your marketing department is just not up to the task and you're just not getting leads, it's probably up to you to generate discussions. So cold calling is that vehicle. We don't like it here. We think there's a lot better ways to do lead generation, but sometimes if that's all you got, that's all you got. So let's talk about cold calling a little bit today. You have a prospect, and they are in what I would call a neutral position. And you can tell that by the way their mouth is straight across. If they were in a happy position, that's the way they'd be sad, of course, like that. But today they're in a neutral position. Chances are they're not waiting on your call, right? So you have all these different ways to get in. You get in through referral, where you know someone and they actually tell this prospect, let's call him Mr. X. They tell Mr. X, hey, Mr. X, you've got to hear from salesperson A. He's really got good stuff. Or maybe they read something. There's an event, there's a, an article that you've published, or there's a case study they've sent for or something. So all these things are, are much better ways to get in the cold calling. But let's just say cold calling is all you have. The goal here is to engage. I'm going to write that down. Joe, if you would just uh, maybe focus in on that a little bit. This idea of engagement. I think the mistake we make when we make cold calls is we make them with a with a predisposition to get an appointment or to sell something. And all I want to do is engage. I want to engage people in, in what I might call a meaningful discussion about their business. And I can't be a salesperson and do that. Because if I call up and I act, behave, sound like a salesperson, what's the prospect going to do? Mr. X going to say, no thanks, I got 20 seconds and I got to go, or can you call back later, call me back on Thursday, knowing full well he's going to be out of the country on Thursday, and I call him back Thursday, and he says, his secretary says, you know what, Mr. X out of the country for two weeks, so I know he lied to me. So I don't want to get lied to, so what I want to do is I want to change my mindset to one of getting some engagement, uh, introducing myself, telling the prospect up front, I'm not sure if I have anything relevant to what you want or to what you have or to what you need. Relevance. The prospect is always asking himself the question, is this call relevant to me? If you try to sell him something, I can guarantee you, you are irrelevant. And you'll prove that by how he treats you. So I want to start with this attitude and maybe even the word, you know what, Mr. X, uh, this is Bill Kasky. I'm not really sure if my company does anything that you can use, but I thought I would uh, take it upon myself to reach out, connect with you, tell you a little bit about what we do. You tell me if there's any reason at all for us to talk, and we can decide then what the next step is. You can call anyone with that call. Now, if you were making uh, 50 calls, you probably weren't making any, but let's just say you were making 50, and you were getting two of appointments. If you use this process, I can bet you'll get 10 to 12 appointments. So you'll five times your uh, results by making this call because this call is a much more comfortable call to make and to take. That is our uh, goal today is to get some engagement. So we're talking about cold calls. If you want more information on any of this, go to caskey1.com slash blog or you can go to samegamenewrules.com. All that stuff's at the bottom of your screen either now or when I'm done. See you next time on Q&A.